Hey guys, Brian from WorkshopAddict.com and not too long ago Milwaukee came out with a new M18 switch tank pesticide sprayer. It's model number 2820-21PS as a kit that comes with a 3.0 amp hour battery and a charger retails for $399. You can get this tool only, which I would highly suggest if you have a battery for $299 and you can get the extra tanks for $149. Now, with that said, the prices for a lot of you guys who are just like, hey, I just need a quick sprayer, I can go get one from Harbor Freight for 35 bucks. This is not designed for just the average homeowner. It's gonna be for that prosumer gardener, for a lawn contractor, or for a farmer. I'm gonna fit in a small farmer category as I have one of these that is basically a hand pump. It's from Steel, works awesome. This is like the next step up to greatness. What you have here is a system that separates the pump, the wand, and the hose, so you don't have cross-contamination if you're doing anything from pesticides, but I guess that's not the big thing. The big thing to me is I have a burn down chemical or Roundup that I'm gonna kill everything. I have spot spraying like Trimac or 2,4-D in lawns. And then I have fertilizer or copper that I might spray into fruit trees and or pumpkins. So, and then from there you can mix things up to what hurts plants and what doesn't hurt plants. So you can just buy separate tanks and never contaminate your tank with something that's gonna hurt something else. That's perfect because at the end of me spraying, I pour everything back in a bottle, I run soap through all this stuff, try to clean it out, you never really do, and sometimes it can be a pain. Now, if you're a professional, you just have a million different sprayers. So you know where the Milwaukee's coming from on this, you know what they're thinking, that's why it's priced the way it is, and that's why it's designed how it is, because it works, and for a lot of people, this is going to be absolutely perfect. So let's start to go around a little bit of what you have. You can get this as a concrete sprayer kit, or you can get it as a water supply, and the base doesn't change. It's just gonna be the tank, the hose, and the wand. Inside here, you have all the normal things you'd expect in the wand and in the, uh, the hoses for gaskets. They're all chemical resistant, so you're gonna be able to have a long life out of these. The wand has a stainless steel extension with a brass tip. That tip is basically what you screw and unscrew in to get your different uh, sprays. You can adjust this in five modes from 20 to 120 PSI with a little knob on the side. And that goes from about a tenth of a gallon up to a half of a gallon per minute in spraying. When you have it on five, most of you long guys out there are gonna be like, dang, I'm pressure washing. And in some cases you can be, but when you're spraying trees or you're trying to get a large area of fertilizer or a pesticide out there, that works perfect. And Milwaukee says it'll spray 25 feet. I believe it will. But if you're trying to spray a tree and you're on like a 45 degree angle and you're trying to stay away from the spray, it's gonna get about 10 feet out farther than the wand before it starts to come back down. So that gives you an idea of how tall of a tree you can spray. We have found in a lot of use that you are gonna get approximately 15 gallons of spraying or spray time per one amp hour of battery that you use. And that leads me down a whole other path. This comes with a three amp hour battery, the old style 2P, um, not sure why it doesn't come with a four or just a five, um, but either way, it will fit a 12. I highly doubt anyone's gonna need or want to put a 12 amp hour battery in this because it's just extra weight. The base alone on this unit weighs 17 pounds. You add in the tank and the wand and four pounds of liquid, you're at about 33, 34 pounds. So you're putting 50 some pounds on your back, which for some people uh, could be uncomfortable. You do have a, a great setup here for basically the carrying the backpack. Your straps are nice and thick. They're all adjustable. My recommendation on this is if you're not used to carrying that kind of weight, make sure the straps are adjusted right so this is standing completely straight up and down on your back and not tilting backwards. 
this is normal. If you got, if you guys are out there uh, in lawn maintenance, you're like laughing at that because you know the the pump ones carry about five gallons in them, so you're at about the same weight. That's fairly normal. But adjust it upright, get comfortable, use it as a little workout per se. It, it's not bad. Obviously, when you're putting it on, it helps to have this elevated a little bit, so you're not trying to just pick it up and swing it around your back and put it on like you might a leaf blower. And even then, when you have uh, some clothes on, like I had a Milwaukee hoodie on, and it was a little bit harder for me to get around because it wanted to grab on the hoodie a little bit. But again, all very, very normal and designed well and engineered very well. We did a lot of spraying of fence lines and doing some trimming with a Roundup based material, but then went back and spot sprayed the lawn with Trimex. So it's nice to have two different containers, one that we'll know is a complete burn down and one that's a broadleaf killer only. That's something I've never had before and it was very, very enjoyable. We'll get another tank or two on this so we can have one for fertilizer, things that aren't harmful for to plants and this will complete everything that we need. Now what we found when you get down to the end of the tank, you're gonna do a little bit of a dance, just like you would if you had a manual sprayer on or if you have one in your hand and you're trying to get everything to be picked up. But if you do the dance, you'll probably have about six ounces maybe-ish left in the bottom. If you don't dance around and just kind of go, well, here we go and it's over, you might end up with about a quarter gallon left in the bottom. Now on this tank, you can see here, you do have a drain in the bottom, which is nice and large. You can easily pull that out, drain whatever you need to into a container and clean this out. It's very well sealed. The top of this has a straining system, so it'll help to keep debris out. You can put this wand either on the top of these, which I have not had great success putting the wand in that position while it's on the backpack. But for storage, it works well if you keep this forward. If you decide to try to put that, it's just not tight enough yet. Other than that, when you connect this to the base, you have these two hooks. Lots of people are going to probably just set it down in there and notice that this back strap is tight. You have to lift this guy in and connect the two hooks, then strap in the front and back. What I have going here is about half full. So there's some weight to it. We unstrap our wand, pick it up, move it out. Not hard at all. It can be done in less than 30 seconds. We pick up our empty tank, push it in the top hooks, let it set into the pump, connect the front, and connect the back. Uh, I'm doing a little slower, trying to keep everything away from my mic. You can really do that quick, but you wanna make sure that you get these top hooks into place. If you don't, it will actually separate the pump in the tank a little bit in the base, and it will clamp down, but you'll notice it will tilt this back a little bit, and you might not get a great connection to the motor on the bottom, or it'll definitely be off balance. Once it's in place here, you're basically ready to roll. You have your battery compartment on the side. It's very large, can hold just about any battery Milwaukee makes, as we said. Then you have your on and off switch. There's a green light here that will come on and let you know that it's on. And then you can have your five position pump settings. You can adjust the five position pumps settings while you're spraying. You won't know exactly what setting it is because you can't see it, but you can easily adjust it so you can get the exact spraying pressure that you'd like to have. Inside your tank, you'll also find another plastic nozzle if you want to screw this on. It's an angled tip with a flat sprayer, so if you were spraying uh, different types of areas that you had to have the wand up higher and wanted it to spray down and be a little more fan-like, that's perfect. Now this is not a Milwaukee fuel model, so 
I'm believing this is a brushed motor that's in the bottom of this and not brushless. I don't think that matters. The runtime here and everything else that you have going is not going to make a difference. Great performance. To me, the constant gallons per minute and constant pressure along the mid-range is perfect. Sometimes you get to a point with some of these where they kind of pulse on you and you get a little bit of a pulsing on the low end. Uh, I think that's very, very normal, but once you get to setting maybe three or two in there, there is no more. It is very constant. The fluid coming out in gallons per minute is very precise. That's where this comes down to. This was made for the pro lawn guy who's going to carry a few of these in his trailer and he's going to rock and roll with whatever he needs. No cross contamination at all and the job's done. Don't need a lot of money invested in multiple different electric sprayers. That's the story on this guy. If you're high end stuff like that, looking for it long guy, highly recommend it. It's been a joy to use and we've had a lot of people contact us while we're out in the yard just saying, hey, what's new, what do you got? And the response from them using it has been great. So I think Milwaukee knocked it out of the park here. Guys, I want you to ask me any questions about this below in the comments. And while you're doing so, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and hit the bell for notifications. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.